Hello guys and welcome back to another Roblox video and I am playing Meep City and yesterday Meep City had a tiny little update and they added a new toy, a paintbrush. Thank you to everybody that told me about that. I was actually gone yesterday. I was away at the Apple Orchard and I, my, my family and I had an absolutely amazing time and by the time I got back I was pretty tired though. Um, but yeah, so I I just wanted to come to the toy store and buy that new item and this is going to be the last part the fourth part I think to redoing my castle and turning it into a royal elementary castle because then we could start role playing <laughs> um, okay so let's go to the toy store and buy the new thing so yeah there was a oh I thought that was whoa guys <laughs> I thought that at one point when I bought that it was a hundred then I had people tell me it was a thousand and I saw that that it was a thousand now it's a hundred they must have lowered the price again but this big paintbrush is one thousand dollars oh my goodness is it even bigger oh no they're both the same size okay so let's check this out this is my first time checking it out though I did see Abby playing with it oh bananas I hate it when that happens okay sorry my voice is a little off again today guys um, so let's go to toys and what was I doing there for a second it looked like I was reading a book or something did you guys see that so here is the paintbrush by the way I love the thumbnail <gasps> for the for Meep City right now with the rainbow background and the rainbow paintbrush it is gorgeous I love it so yeah another toy oops I'm not doing this right you have to do this to make it work so I'm painting everything no. <laughs> okay so I'm gonna go back home with my new awesome paintbrush here where is the neighborhood I'll travel by the other thing is in the description of the game it says school update part two coming soon oh my goodness guys I am so so excited for that um, it depending on what kind of stuff comes out or what happens with that update I might have to like redo my castle or update it I should say like not redo it I'm not gonna redo it I'll update it you know add stuff if needed and whatnot so yeah, I'm pretty excited for that now that we have the paintbrush we can kind of like role play having art class well I figured since I've just I'm running out of rooms for now you can again just do art class and and here you can role play and do your art on these books whoops I'm not doing that right like that there look at that oh <laughs> um, so yeah oh no did I lose my wings so oh, they, there they are hey Chloe so I did two rooms off camera I did the little nur nurse's office very simple I'll probably add oh you know what would be cute in here let's see if the heart decorations would look good in here I just thought heart maybe I should change the wallpaper this to give it a little, you know, I don't know. I might want to change the wallpaper now. Or that's not bad. This is a little nurse's office. So like you'll sit here and the nurse can check you and stuff like that. And that's just her supplies or in that little dresser. And this is her desk, obviously. And then, yeah, I just put the little heart decorations there. I also changed the flooring. Someone did point out and that's true that a lot of my flooring is this cracker flooring. I do love this cracker flooring, though. Um, the other room I did was a bathroom. Now, here's another really good idea that you guys gave me was to get make clothes. Chloe the class pet oh my gosh so since I'm not really sure what to do underneath this little area and we have a little trophy case there I'll make this little part Chloe's little part the little class pet part where we'll put her litter box and food and all that stuff there for her here is the bathroom uh, nothing special uh, just a plain old bathroom but I used a shower that I actually didn't own a shower till yesterday I bought that so that's the first time I've had a shower in Meep City so what I think I'm gonna work on today is is this is going to be the teacher's lounge and I just realized that the bathroom's off of the teacher's lounge but you could kind of pretend that you know I don't know there's a hallway going to the bathroom that I don't know guys <laughs> okay um and then this is going to be like the gym slash dance I'm kind of playroom gonna kind of mix it all together again and these two are gonna be the dorms now I think what I've decided now for the dorms since Halloween is coming up since October is coming up and I think someone suggested this is to make one room Halloween and one room candy I also saw both those types come up a lot too like Halloween or not Halloween dark and candy a lot of people are saying candy room I know I did think I was going to originally do a love dorm but I can always switch the dorms around too depending on like 
the time of year and stuff like that right so yeah for today that's what i'll do is i'll do like a i don't know if the person said that but this will be like the treat room and this will be like the trick room basically so that is what we're going to do and again guys thank you so much for all your suggestions and ideas and that you guys are so awesome i'm gonna start though here with the little gym area i put this more colorful wall uh flooring down let's see let's see though what it looks like if I put a dance floor on. I think I like that. And then we'll do a dance floor. Let's see what dance floor I want to use. Do I want to use the big one? Um, Probably, but it sticks out though. So what is that going to look like? I don't know how I feel about this flooring in here. <laughs> I think it's a little crazy. I do love this flooring though. What should we do for wallpaper though? Let's figure that out. Um... We could try to make this room a little more bright. So maybe if I went with the pastel rainbow puzzle paper, because if you're in here doing gym and you fall or something, you're on like a softer surface. Okay, I did that thing where I added the bubble machine in here, but I hit it. I really love that idea that came from Lily there. It's a fabulous, fabulous idea um, to hide the bubble machine, um, except for, oh, I guess I'm not, I'm not in like non-build mode so yeah like I don't have to have the bubble machine on but you know if we're dancing or something and you want a little bubble effect you can have that I need to figure out what posters I need to add and stuff but basically this is just like a play slash we could come in here and do like dance lessons or gym or whatnot somewhat <laughs> we can also do gym outside as well because you can go outside and play and use like the rollerblades or something like that but yeah here is just this little area um, you know kids though it can be a little play area too they can play in the ball pit or have a fidget spinner now the other room that I want to do is a teacher's lounge now I take it for the teacher's lounge that I would need a bed because say if I'm role playing as the teacher and like the kids have their little rooms I would need a bed or the teacher would need a bed right so I'm assuming the teacher's lounge is gonna need a bed in it let's look at beds what bed what I want to put in here just a little bed um oh here's the Halloween bed okay no I'm starting getting excited for um oops I'm getting too excited that I'm typing in there what do we want for just a simple teacher's bed here like something like that I know what I can add guys I know what I can add to the little play area is a little tv because say they're doing like music they're following music videos or I don't know something to like help with exercising or something like that we'll put a tv here that's funny my last build with this i had a tv in that spot too so yeah that adds a little bit to that room perfect you know what i'm going to i just decided i people did suggest that i do a fruit themed bedroom i'm gonna make the teacher's lounge a fruit theme and give them the apple tv because i'm having trouble sticking that tv on the walls oh i guess i gotta put it on this wall i didn't even think of that but that's okay um okay let me figure this out because there's two doors in here bed you're gonna have to just get moved for a moment <laughs> um so let's say i put the banana couch like i don't know like this and put the apple tv over here okay so i finished the teacher's lounge here like i said the bed's a bit awkward i'm not gonna lie but like i said if we're role playing and the teacher just needs somewhere to sleep or something there is a bed this room's a little hard to put like a bed in um could i actually just move that a little bit more let's see yeah i could move that over a little more since the fruit thing was suggested for dorms i thought i'll make the teacher's lounge a little uh fruit themed room um so yeah the teachers could come here and watch a little tv and there is a bed i love those little orange shelves there they're so cute people also suggested to put a coffee maker speaking of coffee i'm gonna make myself a coffee here to make a put a little coffee maker and a mini fridge in here as well so i did that so they you know have access to drinks and a little bit of food there so yeah here is the teacher's lounge highly highly requested the teacher's lounge actually like quite a bit it might have been one of the top things requested was a little teacher's lounge um so great idea guys so there's my little fruit themed teacher's lounge oh there goes the coffee i guess if you go into like build mode or something it glitches with the plate under it <laughs> now i'm gonna have a plate oh no the plate disappeared the plate disappeared okay yeah and then here's my little playroom like slash little 
gym dance area watch a little tv in there too though there's absolutely nowhere to sit to watch tv though i realized but like i said i could possibly try to put tvs in the students rooms so i'm thinking i'm gonna put the dark dorm in here and the candy dorm in here because i think the candy dorm would be cute from looking in from up here so let's start with the dark dorm and by the way too with halloween coming up i most likely will be giving you know a little bit of a halloween uh, decorate like you know changing maybe some to the wallpapers the Halloween themed or whatnot so let's start off okay first off we're gonna change the flooring let's just change it to the chocolate for now or that no let's do chocolate oh there's black fur carpet actually let's do the black fur carpet that will work okay so we've got other spider wallpaper we could do here or there's kitty my favorites uh, purple for witch that's kind of nice oh I also really like this one I was actually tempted to change a room to this wallpaper but like I said I'll probably do that you know when Halloween gets a little closer hmm I almost like well let's you know what let's do did I do this one let's let's actually look at some of the Halloween stuff I have so we have one Halloween bed here that I can use okay no I think we need a different wallpaper Let's try the witch one. Yeah, that's kind of cute. I like the witch wallpaper. That's too candy-ish, I realize, because the other room's going to be candy. So I'm between doing the spider or the purple witch. I don't know. Let's do the purple witch one here. Yes, there was this little coffin couch that I can use here for seating in here from Halloween last year. Like, it's just in case anybody's wondering where I got this stuff, I got this stuff from Halloween last year. Okay, we'll just have it out like that, I guess. I'm having a really hard time getting that to fit in the corner. Okay, so then we need a TV. TV will have to do. It doesn't really go with the dark dorm, though. <laughs> it does not. Let's change the channel though can we make the channel a little bit more let's see what do we got for options here oh that's cute Ooh, a cat probably a cat one would be good actually now that I think of it let's do that one actually there okay so there's a little TV in here for them to watch move that more in the center I do wish I could have that framed black because it does not look I don't know it looks kind of funny in here so we have one bed let's see you know, pro like, I guess there's about six students in this school because of the chairs and stuff. So, like, ideally, three beds would be good in the room. Oh, here's the Halloween stuff, guys. Okay, so I don't actually... Oh, it's the beanbag chairs I also have that I could put in here. So, let's put a beanbag chair in here. Some pumpkins. Ghost. Definitely want the ghost in here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Um, have a little pumpkin decoration. So, I'm just trying to think. A little reading corner we could do a little reading corner here okay the only thing I could find that I thought would color in here is actually this little storage table because I can't find the one little tables that I'm looking for for some reason um, oopsie um, so we'll put like the little pumpkin decoration on there and oh we'll probably you know what actually let's put the bat on there let's put the pumpkins like randomly in here I think that you can do an orange, so we'll switch that to orange color there. We can, perfect. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Maybe I'll actually put, oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Maybe I'll put these little pumpkins. Oh, stop that right here. This is what I want over in this corner. Oh no, <laughs> what is going on? No, there's nothing on this wall. So let's actually move this over to this wall can put it on the ground that's what it is okay we'll put it on the ground behind there put the pumpkins over in this corner like so I do have an extra pumpkin so let's let's use it because I have it so let's see what that looks like that's looking pretty awesome. It's a very Halloween like, but it's a dark fairy like. Thought you could do too if you are role playing as a dark fairy is using like say these wings would be cool as a dark fairy. There's a different types of wings that you can use in the game 
that I thought would match uh, well with the dark dorm. Whoops, I'm not doing well here. Uh, maybe these ones as well. Ooh, yes, these ones look really, really good in here. You can fit three students in this room. They have their little area here where they can watch TV, a little reading corner, which I always love adding. And yeah, they've got decorations and everything in here. I really like that. So I like the okay, dark. Okay, so and again, with the candy stuff, I have a lot to use for that because I have not used much candy stuff around the house. Oh, okay, well, yeah, I do need the candy bed. So we're gonna have to do the same thing where I'm gonna have to have one bed like this and then another bed another two beds Ooh, this room's gonna be so awkward to fit a bunch of beds in oh my goodness I just realized that oh guys I know what's missing from the gym class oh my goodness I'm not even thinking oh my goodness I'm not thinking here let me add some of this stuff to the gym class so I'm not sure where to put some of it but let's see if we could do this here I just bought this the pull up thing i guess you could put up against this wall i guess like that there we go can you use i thought for some reason that you could use these oh you can yeah there we go so ah, uh, people could do lift weights in here that makes this a much better gym class just two little simple things like that i never even thought of and that works right yeah okay perfect guys whoops oh okay it has the same thing Okay, awesome, so that just made this a little bit better in there. I like that, oh no, that kinda, I'm almost thinking, I don't know if I like the bunk beds in here, guys, I gotta be honest. So is this sitting the right way? So for as in here, I did get, ah, I need that button, okay, there we go. I got another one of the littler TVs, just cause these walls are hard to fit. Um, these TVs on. I'll probably keep it on that channel actually because that looks really really cute. Oh, you know what I realized guys? I actually do have one more bookshelf that I did not realize I had which is awesome. Now I thought I would just put a school book here just for a little something different for decoration so i think i'm done in here it's a little cramped i'm not gonna lie um i don't know if i'd be better to move this over here and switch that around but you know they're smaller rooms and i have to fit three students in them you can get by but yeah here's the candy room it's pretty cute i do like it the only thing this is lacking that this one has is this one has the extra little chair but i was able to fit that in here better the only other thing is and I don't think I'm gonna do much with it though is just put the rest of Chloe's stuff under here because yes I thought that was a great idea making Chloe um, would it be food dish yeah making Chloe the class pet I thought that was a really really good idea there okay so I, I got everything I'm gonna oh oh that's that's not good Chloe that is not good <laughs> the poor thing she's like I haven't had food in here in forever here's a little spot for Chloe the students can of course help take care of her by feeding her and stuff and she's got a little litter box under there um, yeah I, I really so basically guys the school is done i'm very happy let's do a quick little tour here we've got our baking cooking class for students now how many are these one two three four five six yeah it seems like i have six stations basically so it's about a six student school <laughs> um plus a teacher or whatnot you have your little extension on the bakery room and then we of course have our main area which i absolutely love you have your little cafe or cafeteria cooking area the students come over here to eat they can you know chill in here too of course um yeah lots and lots you could do we have the lockers little decorations this is a little another little spot you could sit to do homework or if you're waiting to talk to the principal you could sit here so it's a little waiting area we have our one classroom which can be used as an art math english whatnot now i do know the one room that is missing guys is like a potion class um i just don't know where i would put it we have the little nurse's office i don't know if i like the hearts in there or not and okay principal's office i did change the flooring in here too i thought this flooring looked really nice in the principal's office let's grab a banana while i'm in here let's go upstairs now so next guys will be role playing which i'm super super excited for now we have our library computer slash little lounge area for the students we have our computer or our computer lounge <laughs> 
our teacher lounge area, a bathroom for all students to use. We have the little play area slash gym area and you could dance in here, watch a little TV. Then we have our candy dorm, which I, I like how it turned out. Like I said, it's a little cramped in here, but um, I did want three beds. I think it's super, super cute. Let's see though if I change the wallpaper. I don't know if I'm, I don't wanna keep using the same wallpapers over and over again. Let's try the ice cream wallpaper. What does that look like? Oh, I think that looks a lot better, guys. I think I like the ice cream wallpaper in here better. Okay. <laughs> No words, guys. No words on that one. Oh, banana. Then we have our dark dorm, which again, I like how this turned out. Three beds in each room, so six students. So I was able to manage to fit six students in here quite nicely, which is really, really awesome. So yeah, guys, I loved how my Royal Elementary School turned out. I hope you guys liked it. Um, you guys contributed, contributed a lot to this with ideas, suggestions. Um, I loved it. Uh, yeah, and like the teacher lounge, I managed to get a fruit room in here too because I made the teacher's lounge a fruit room. Um, I cannot wait to start role playing in here. It's going to be so, so, so much fun, guys. I cannot wait to do that. But I also at the same time had a lot of fun decorating it. I may go through and add a few things here or there, like you maybe do something a little bit more with this room. But time wise, I do have to end my video here soon. I am going to end this video here. I hope that you enjoyed and have yourself a great day. Bye.